Lord Legion. The intention of the Smolt Spy was to create a automated monitoring device with the primary objective of monitoring uh, Lahontan cutthroat smolt fish down to about 100 millimeters. And there wasn't really any technology out there that would do that other than a continuous video. So we'd explored the options and found the motion detection software that was capable of detecting stuff down to around 50 millimeters. We started from scratch on everything. We built the, the underwater housing for the camera, the data cables to transmit the data. So after that, we uh, started designing the box that was gonna hold the camera. Once we completed the fabrication of the prototype Smolt Spy, as a team effort between Summit Lake and Fish Bio, it was installed in a location where they had already been conducting some adult upstream migration and pit tag studies. By installing the smolt spy in that location, we could compare the adult counts between the two devices, the smolt spy and the river watcher. The Baki river watcher unit has a size limit on the size of fish that it can detect. So once you get down to a certain small enough size, it no longer picks up the fish. And so what we're hoping for is with this underwater video camera or smolt spy, is that we'll be able to detect and visually see the small fish uh, moving through the system. So the way the device works is it's uh, got a continuous video feed that it's recording to a hard drive and then it runs through a motion detection software where it pulls out video clips whenever motion is detected. The motion detection is really important. Eliminate how much post-processing you have to do with the video. So. You don't have to watch the whole video in its entirety. You're able to go through and just look at little clips. That has been really helpful for us as far as data review. Um, it eliminates a lot of time having to go back and review video footage. With the infrared light, they're able to uh, operate you know, around the clock in low light conditions as well as nighttime conditions and still able to observe the fish without putting out a light that uh, actually lights up the whole area. The development of the Smolt Spies led to development of other camera usages in our fisheries research. We've uh, actually put in a full stream monitoring system where we use the same camera technologies and motion detection software and it's been pretty successful. We've also found a use for these types of cameras and fish ladders and being able to identify and count fish moving through fish ladders. The Smolt Spy camera, I think it'll be very, very useful because you are able to actually capture video footage of a fish. So there's no question whether it is a fish or a false target. And so I, I think it'll be very useful in the future for assessing uh, the population. It is adaptable enough that with some minor changes to some of the external components outside of the camera and camera tunnel and, and the, the kind of the nuts and bolts of the system. You can use it in a variety of locations. Essentially we see it as something that can be used anywhere. <laughs>